Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. We're back where we left off. We're going to go up here and reveal the next world. Clanker's Cavern. This world. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press the right trigger. Well, yep. That's a good little note. Wish I knew that earlier, but we have one piece to fill. Um, this world is pretty cool when I was younger and I used to play it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know you could uh, go in a certain area, so I just kind of... Uh, like, I ignored that. It was not a big deal. And then I skipped the world, like, not even covering half of the world. But So you hop up onto the pipe that we were just at, enter here, activate this button to create a little pathway. You can see, this is pretty uh, reminiscent to the world. There's another button here. Because if you click this, it's going to activate this switch. If you go back, I'm going to take Kazooie. Because Kazooie can actually you know, jump farther than the flapping rules. Somehow. I don't know why, maybe some bird steroids or something. Come up here. I'm doing this now because if you do it after, uh, there's monsters on the wall uh, that'll be shown later. And that opens up that switch, but we're not gonna go in that one either. I know I'm kind of uh, being a butt about that, but we're not gonna do that. Up here is easily missed. Mumbo token. So now we're gonna enter world three. Okay, had to be quiet for that intro there. That is easily one of the best tracks in this game. I love it. The intro is cool. Just the one new move to find this time, but it's hidden well. It is indeed hidden well. I could never find it when I was younger. You know, I was also not as smart as I am now and not as good as playing video games as I am now, definitely. Not to brag or anything, but I was kind of a badass at playing games back in the day. So. These are the wall monsters I was talking about. These are like slugs. Um, they just jump out at you. Come up here. Gather our treasures. Kind of parkour around. Do some actual platforming. Uh, it's my favorite genre of video games too. And shooters were nothing. I was full Nintendo. I had the Wii, DS, 3DS. SNES, uh, 64, GameCube, and then I kind of stopped, and yeah, so I kind of thought this was like all the world when I was little, and then I look over here and I see this little hole, and this isn't where I stopped either, so this is like barely scratching the surface, so I get these notes that are actually pretty easily missed if you do the wrong thing. You mean Clanker! Bzzz! I'm Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like you. Maybe water, want fresh air. Fun fact, the people who made this game for Rare, uh, if you hear Banjo like fall from great heights, he'll like do a little Banjo scream, I guess. A Banjo cry. Not a real banjo, it's like him crying with his voice. They took that audio file, sped it up, or no, they slowed it down, and they used it as Clanker's uh, little in-game voice. So that's a fun fact. That's why if you speed up the text there, it'll actually sound like a, a sped up version of it, which is pretty cool. That's a neat little fact if you didn't know. So here we have this big ass metal whale. Uh, yeah, this is... You can see how I got stuck. Probably not. I mean, I did some things. I knew there were places you needed to go. I just didn't know how to get to them. So I just did everything, you know, in the wall, all the stuff. And then I called it good. Continued on with the adventure. But then I figured out how to do it. It was a heck of a lot simpler. 
So here we got, you know, what every witch's lair should have. Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. Alright, Hezzy, come at me, bro. Yeah, we got some radiation here. Let's make us some mutants. Uh, Krabby Krabs. So after we murder all of these guys, and they you know, smack us around a bit, we get rewarded. Speak snippet mutants are we. Something. It's yours. They give us the jig. So now we have this. We've obtained our treasure. Grab everything we can bleed. It's got a cool soundtrack in here though. Like a little fast paced uh, version of Clinker's Cavern. I forgot how to get up here. Never mind, I remember how to get up here. Uh, Follow the eggs, dude. Follow the blue eggs. Or the blue rocks. Blue levels, whatever. Fuck the. Juju. So now we can leave that area. And there are a good amount of holes everywhere which need to be explored. Because there are some pretty important items in them. Just don't go to the one in front of Clanker because, you know, that's leaving. You don't want to leave. Not yet, anyways. I forget what's in here. Just kidding, I remember what's in here. I think it's just a Jinjo. Yeah. Hello, peasant. You're mine. Welcome to the company. And somehow I missed that entrance, but we're just gonna ignore that. I don't remember what's in this one. It might be the Jiggy. Spoilers, there's a Jiggy in one of these. Um, no, it's Mumbo Token. Okay, so the other side has the Jiggy. And swimming's pretty slow in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is so slow. Banjo Tooie, what do they do? They fix their mistakes and they make you swim faster. But oh, did you see that? The okay, honeycomb piece. Well hidden underneath uh, that pipe. So that's easily missed. Uh, so if you didn't know where that was, now you do. Then we gotta go in this pipe, which leads to the jiggy. I'm fairly positive it does. I love swimming and collecting jiggies because then we don't do the dance. The dance is kind of slow. It's too slow for me. There we have it. Treasure. There. Yeah, treasure. So, now we're at three jiggies and... Well, it's like, now what do you do? I mean, there's stuff on the walls, but... I know I didn't show it off, but there, you can't really reach it. Plus, there's this whale who's apparently drowning in water. Because he needs some fresh air. Okay, he's not drowning, but this is a... It's a pretty shitty water. Nobody wants to be in that. So we're gonna dive on down here. We're gonna dive down. We're gonna help our little metal buddy out. Some scary music. We have this fish. Position myself correctly here first. If this fish can move its ass, I'm gonna miss the snow. I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, well, we're gonna die. Um, got some notes here. These up as you please. I need to find this fish. God damn it. There, yeah. Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Follow the fish, get the bubbles, and boom, you can breathe. Because logic, right? Don't try that at home, kids. And there's a Jinjo down here. Don't know why this little orphan kid's, you know, down here. Needing rescued. Drowning. But, uh, these little guys, they get into some trouble. So, before we drown in this sad little death in some poo water, 
we swim through this key and somehow that's gonna help our little buddy here get some air. Just like this little buddy's helping us get some air. Everybody helps everybody. So we swim around. Go through here and I'm just gonna you know, turn around. Go back through. And what that does is unlock this. I don't know exactly what it does. It loosens the chain, I think. Maybe it releases him. I never really looked. He floats up because he's metal logic and he can breathe. Yeah, it looks like it just... Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. Alright, Clanker. Thank you for your money. So before we drown again, we're gonna come up here. And we're all gonna get some air. And what this unlocks is we can wait for them to float up and we can jump on his face. Murder these eels. This pipe, and then have another Momo token. Exciting, right? No, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, another pipe. You come up here, you hear someone yelling help, and that's because. items in here, one in each pipe. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's this one. The other one's a life. And with that being said, we collected six and we get our seventh piece. Now we're living good. We're nice and healthy. Nothing can touch us. Let's put this uh, well for some reason. We can reach this. We're gonna jump up here. Shoots us up to get air. Climb off. We have yet another jiggy. So we're just loaded with jiggies right now. So now we're sitting at three. Wow, we are not far. At all. So jumping slowly. I don't know why, but I'm just sort of falling. There's just water everywhere. That's cool. Yeah, here's our fourth. Dance, Banjo, do a little dance. Bzzz, Clanker's teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Help Clanker. Right, you bastard. Uh, well, my jaw hurts. Who's gonna help me? Nobody. I didn't eat garbage. My jaw just hurts. And we get another Jiggy. It's just that easy. Banjo's so good at this game. I don't know this guy. Click some notes. And you're wondering, we're about halfway done, and there's nowhere else to go. Fuck. Um, <laughs> well, it's not entirely true. There's, I missed up here. And, like he said, his teeth hurt, so we have to figure that out. After we jump up here, because there's some annoying collectibles where they alternate every few items. This all leads to life. All this just to get a life. We're fantastic. Well, no, don't do that. Banjo, you idiot, you baboon. Actually, he's a bear. We're gonna come up here. Jump up here. Jump up here. Finish collecting our notes. Because I fell like an idiot. Once that's all uh, collected, we gotta fix this boy's teeth. We went from being a bear on an adventure to save our sister to a certified dentist, just like that. And uh, here's his little gills. We're gonna swim in there for surprise, but you stare into this guy's soul and you shoot some blue pebbles at his whole teeth because it was easy to know. And that somehow fixes this toothache and you can climb in and see if yet another jiggy, but we're gonna climb out. We're not gonna go in yet. 
Yeah, look at him just stare into your soul. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Come on, Clanker, cooperate. Yeah. So we go into here. And we get this. So now that that's all done, we're actually just gonna go in the proper way. Just through the blowhole. Because why not? Ow. Are you. What the f. Okay. And you can make him go across. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. So jump in here. And you hit the switch, and that activates a puzzle for us to get our next shaky. So we run through here. Take some damage every now and then. And now we're inside this whale. The Jiggy. We're at 7, so we to run back this way. I think. We probably don't, but I'm gonna do it anyways. There's actually a door this way. That leads to, what do you know it? His mouth. Oh yeah, we do. Why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't this whale eat garbage but have treasure and stuff all inside of himself? These little noodle things are called whiplash. I don't like them at all. They're kind of creepy. Or in his little stomach here. But we are going to go over here real quick. This one's underwater, we can access it. The other one was raised, and this is what leads to his gills. But there's also notes, so I don't want to swim out because we're not done in here yet. If you remember from the beginning of the level, Bottles, as helpful as he is, said there's a level or a move in this level. Just one! One move! And, well, let's be honest here, right now, he could only be. So he's got mole hills everywhere. The, the bottles is he's, he's crazy. So we have a nice little hoop puzzle. Jump through the hoops. This gets reused in the next game very often, I think. Wrong button. So you just want to get through all these as fast as you can. Skip the blue ones. Go with the green because that's what you're supposed to do, and that's the game code. So don't argue with it. Once you get through this one, traffic sound, water level gets raised because reasons. When this is raised, you can grab your golden feather one. Come over here, collect what I believe is the last of the No. There's this little hole right here, and we're one Jinjo short, but what do you know? Here's our pink Yoshi down here. Slowly, grab the Jiggy. Freeze for some reason because I think it was doing an animation, but we're underwater, and swim now. I'm gonna murder this guy. This guy has health. For some reason, I'm really low. Here, claim our prize, and then I think we're at nine. We should be at nine. Yeah, we're at nine. And we're missing a few notes. Also, because this got raised, we have access to this flying pad. For some reason, this whale ate everything that we need. So, thank you, whale. And we could leave right there. Um, I forget what leaves. Oh, it's that uh, hole at the end of the first room. Fly up here. Not a big deal. And what do you know? A molehill. Because the logic. Ran out of five notes, but there's five in here. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool, does it make me invulnerable? It sure does. Pull the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. She said wisely though as this move requires gold feathers and you can only carry 10 of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers. Mm. 
Your health, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I get into some danger. I've learned all my new moves for this world, the rest is up to you. Yeah, well, the rest is literally a straight shot. I like so, it's actually not. It's the right stick to the left. I think. That lets you dodge all that. Collected all the notes and got all the tools. As expected. So now, oh, do that. It's not very beneficial. So we're just gonna run through here really quick. And that should take five to get across, but if you do it like I did, save a few. Not a big deal. But I'll take it. Now that this world is completed, it's time to swim out through the gills. Because why not? Uh, I said swim out. Banjo, what are you doing? I will let you die in here, Banjo. So exit the whale after claiming all your rewards. You know, this world is just this whale, and we saved him from killing himself and a toothache from pain. He owes us more than just nine jiggies, basically. I mean, I think he only gave us three, technically. So, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Sadly, we won't see him in the next game. I know. What a shame. That's what everybody wanted was a sequel to uh, a whale-themed level. A metal whale-themed level. That's sarcasm, by the way. Since you've uh, done all you could here, everybody's dead. Glad we leave. But miss the music though, the music's pretty good. And that's gonna end off episode 3 right here because we're gonna go into that hole next. And we're gonna continue on episode 4, leading to the fourth world, which is where it gets a little interesting. Plus, there's no mumbo in there, so thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Follow Twitch, the description. Follow me on socials. Peace, guys.